In this exercise, we are having two parts. Uh, let's discuss these one by one. In part A, we are given that a circular coil of 30 tons and radius 8 centimeters carrying a current of 6 ampere. If we list up the data here, uh, number of tons in the coil are given as 30 tons and the radius of uh, coil is given as 8 centimeter in SI units we use at 0 0.08 meter and the current is 6 ampere. Although you might have seen that in most of the questions I'm explaining with the concept not listing of the data but it is advisable uh, that uh, while solving uh, uh, while solving numerical problems, you always list up the data and then use it in uh, different uh, expressions or formulas used because that will help you in analyzing it better. It is saying the field line makes an angle 60 degree with the normal of the coil. Here theta is also given a 60 degree. If you visualize the situation, you can see if this is the direction of magnetic field and here we place a coil of which the normal, uh, the direction of area vector is making an angle theta equals to 60 degree with the direction of field. Then we are required to find a magnitude of counter torque that must be applied to prevent the coil from turning. Here in this situation, let us randomly consider a direction of current in the coil. If uh, this is the direction of current I for which we have taken this area vector, then the magnetic field is in this direction and we know magnetic torque on coil is given as uh, this given as m cross b where m is the magnetic moment of coil of which the direction is along area vector and b is the magnetic field. So in this situation, if we talk about the cross product of this m vector, because m vector also exists in this direction that I already explained you in theory parts. So m cross b is clockwise, so it will experience a clockwise torque due to magnetic field. And if we want to keep the coil at rest, an equal counter torque must be applied. This is the direction of magnetic torque. So counter torque must be applied in opposite direction. So we can say to keep the coil at rest as we want to prevent the coil from turning, uh, we use an equal counter torque uh, which is in the direction opposite to this magnetic torque and of magnitude equal to the magnetic torque. If we substitute the value of m which is i n a so when we take the cost product this becomes b i n a sine theta that also we have discussed if we substitute the numerical values here uh, the value of b is 1 tesla current here is uh, 6 ampere number of turns are 30 area of coil we can substitute as pi r square radius of coil is 0 0.08 meter sine 60 degree will be here theta if you substitute 60 this root 3 by 2 so if you numerically calculate this uh, uh, value given to us this will give us 3.13 newton meter that's the result of this problem this much amount of uh, counter torque externally is needed in opposite direction to keep the coil at rest and in part b it is asking would your answer change if the circular coil in this part were replaced by a planar coil of some irregular shape that encloses the same area so we can write no torque will remain same as it depends only on coil area not on its shape that's why it remains same that's the result of uh, this part b apo or uniform magnetic field la or coil la suspend pandrom vertical ah potirukakudiya and the coil enna seidhunaaga 
magnetic field is 60 degree angle. Now, if you have a magnetic field, 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 a counter torque. Then, the torque is formula NBIA cos sin theta. NBIA sin theta is equal to the value of theta. Value. Theta is 60 degree. Substitute 3.13 Newton meter. This is one difficulty. Now, the coil is the circular coil. The irregular shape is the coil. The problem is that it depends upon the area, not on the shape of the particular armature. Okay. Thank you. Guys, we are given the two concentric circular coils X and Y of radii 16 and 10 cm respectively lie in the same vertical plane containing the north and south direction. Coil X has 20 tons and carries a current of 16 ampere and Y has 25 tons which has a current of 18 ampere. The sense of current in X is anticlockwise and that in Y for an observer looking at coil facing west give the magnitude and direction of net magnetic field due to the coils uh, at their center here uh, to analyze uh, the problem properly we need to visualize it first here if we consider that uh, this is north direction this south direction this east and this west so we are given that the coils uh, lie in vertical plane containing north-south direction. So we can draw on the coils like this. So this is the north-south plane and there are two coils. And uh, say the first coil is X which is of radius 16 centimeter, the bigger one. And uh, this is uh, the coil Y which is smaller one of radius 10 centimeter. We can write here also that R X is 16 centimeter and R Y is 10 centimeter. Units uh, should be used in SI units, so it is 0.16 meter, it is 0 0.1 meter. And we are also given the number of turns in X and Y coils. X has a number of turns 20, Y has number of turns 25. Current in coil X is 16 ampere and current in coil Y is 18 ampere. So we have listed up all the data. The sense of the current in X is anti-clockwise. And clockwise and Y for an observer looking at the coils facing west. That means observer is looking from this side and he is facing west. So I am trying to draw the eye of an observer who is facing toward west. And he looks at X and Y and in this situation the current in X appear to this observer is anti-clockwise and uh, current in Y appear to be clockwise. You can see the way we are properly visualizing this situation. You must be very careful about the language of question and your own interpretation for drawing it. Here when he will be looking at these coils Due to current and coil X, if I use the right hand thumb rule, the magnetic field will be toward right due to X, which is BX. Due to Y, it is toward left, which is BY. Those are along east and west directions. And if we calculate the magnetic induction, due to coils, X and Y at C. C is the center of both the coils. And we can write magnetic field due to X is the expression we know the field uh, due to a coil at its center is given by mu naught I by 2R. So this mu naught IX by 2RX multiplied by number of turns in X. And field due to Y is also mu naught iy upon 2 ry multiplied by number of turns in y. We can numerically calculate these values also. Mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to power minus 7 multiplied by current 10 coil x is 16. 
divided by 2 multiplied by radius of uh, coil x is 0 0.16 and number of turns in x are 20. So if we just have a look over here and numerically when we calculate the result uh, we are getting is if you just have a look here carefully the result we are getting is 4 pi into 10 to power minus 4 tesla. And similarly, we substitute numerical values for calculation of field due to y at center, due to coil y at center. Uh, this 4 pi into 10 to power minus 7. Current in uh, y is 18 ampere divided by twice of uh, the radius of coil y is 0 0.1 multiplied by number of tons are 25. So when you numerically calculate this is giving us the value 9 pi into 10 to power minus 4 tesla. Here we can see the magnetic induction due to coil Y is greater than that due to coil X. So net magnetic induction at center is this BC we write as BY minus BX. So if we subtract that to the 9 pi minus 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla, which is numerically giving us a value 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 3 tesla. And direction is as B is higher, so it will be toward west. That is the result of this problem. Trend coil, north south direction is trend coil. One not a radius is the x, one not a radius is the y. One not a anticlockwise, x is anticlockwise, y is clockwise. We are going to right hand palm rule. We are going to x in the direction of the field. We in the direction of the field create Pandadin Raza Coil north south arc, observation east west arc. Upper BX on the east lurk, BY on the west lurk. Values are N neighbor to other mu naught, N neighbor to R and the formula we use Pandi. X field in the value, Y field of value can bring up. Rendi field of value can bring up, Y field of value, X field of value are cut up good lark. Upon net result, tenta, by direction like you put under the moody panicero. If a purgil gungle, Michael would experiment plan in the net field contributing to moon case exchange. A parana NCRT problem clear work. Upon this will be a type of problem you should remember in your mind. Thank you. Next. Magnetic field of 100 Gauss is required which is uniform in a region of linear dimension about 10 cm and area of cross section about 10 to the power minus 3 meters square. And the maximum current carrying capacity of a given coil of wire is 15 ampere and the number of turns per unit length that can be wound round a core is at most 1000 turns per meter. We are required to suggest some appropriate design particulars of a solenoid for the required purpose. And it is also given that core is not ferromagnetic. That means we consider relative permeability of a core is to be 1. Now in this solution we can directly write as we know. We already studied earlier. As we know that the magnetic induction. inside a solenoid is we must write inside a tightly wound solenoid because if the solenoid is not tightly wound turns are not very close to each other the magnetic line of forces may leak outside and the field may not be uniform so this magnetic induction we know it is given as mu naught n i and the magnetic field required in this situation is 100 gauss. So in this situation mu naught is a constant this implies we are getting the value of n i which is b by mu naught. 
So we substitute the value B is 100 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. So if we numerically solve this value, this is coming out to be 7961. So Ni should be equals to 7961. And in this situation, the design parameters are required. So in this situation, we can say for uh, N equal to 1000 tons per meter, if we uh, uh, wind on the solenoid to keep the a solenoid tightly wound. So in this situation we are getting the value of I to be 7.961 ampere. So this should be the parameter with which we are able to produce a 100 Gauss magnetic field keeping number of turns to be 1000 and current in the coil to be equals to 7.961 ampere. That's the way how we design the solenoid keeping this value of current and 1000. ஒரு சுலினாய்டில் அது நூறு காஸ் மேக்னடிக் ஃபீல்டை ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்ணணும் அப்போது நூறு காஸ் மேக்னடிக் ஃபீல்டை ப்ரொடியூஸ் நூறு காஸ் மேக்னடிக் ஃபீல்டை ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்ணணும் அப்படின்னாக்கா ஆம்பியருடைய சர்க்கியூட்டல் லா ஆம்பியருடைய சர்க்கியூட்டல் லாவை அப்ளை பண்ணுறோம் ஆம்பியருடைய சர்க்கியூட்டல் லாவை அப்ளை பண்ணோம் அப்படின்னாக்கா பி இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு மியூ நாட் என்ஐ நம்ம அப்ளை பண்ணோம் என் ஐ சிக்கல் டு பிபி மி நாட் அப்ப என்ஐயோட வேல்யூ செவன் நைன் சிக்ஸ் ஒன் வருது ஆனா என் என்ன கண்டிஷன் கொடுத்துருக்காங்கன்னா தௌசண்ட் டேர்ன்ஸ் பர் மீட்டர்னு கொடுத்துருக்காங்க அதுபடி கால்குலேட் பண்ணா ஆல்மோஸ்ட் எயிட் ஆம்பியர் கரண்ட் போனா ஹண்ட்ரட் காஸ் கரண்டா நம்ம ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்ணிட முடியும் ஓகே ஃபீல் ஆஃப் ஹண்ட்ரட் காஸ் இஸ் ரெக்வயர்ட் விச் இஸ் யூனிஃபார்ம் இன் அ ரீஜன் ஆஃப் லீனியர் டைமென்ஷன் அபவுட் டென் சென்டிமீட்டர் an area of cross section about 10 to the power minus 3 meters square and the maximum current carrying capacity of a given coil of wire is 15 ampere and the number of turns per unit length that can be wound round a core is at most 1000 turns per meter we are required to suggest some appropriate design particulars of a solenoid for the required purpose and it is also given that core is not ferromagnetic that means we consider relative permeability of a core is to be 1. Now in this solution we can directly write as we know we already studied earlier as we know that the magnetic induction inside A solenoid is we must write inside a tightly wound solenoid because if the solenoid is not tightly wound turns are not very close to each other the magnetic line of forces may leak outside and the field may not be uniform so this magnetic induction we know it is given as mu naught and I and the magnetic field required in this situation is 100 Gauss. So in this situation mu naught is a constant. This implies we are getting the value of Ni which is B by mu naught. So we substitute the value B is 100 into 10 to the power minus 4 divided by mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. So if we numerically solve this value, this is coming out to be 7961. So Ni should be equals to 7961. And in this situation, the design parameters are required. So in this situation, we can say for uh, N equal to 1000 tons per meter, if we uh, uh, wind on the solenoid to keep the a solenoid tightly wound. So in this situation we are getting the value of I to be 7.961 ampere. So this should be the parameter with which we are able to produce a 100 Gauss magnetic field keeping number of turns to be 1000 and current in the coil to be equals to 7.961 ampere. That's the way how we design the solenoid, keeping this value of current and 1000. Here you can have more parameters if you decrease the value of uh, N, 
the value of current can be increased because current can be increased up to 15 ampere. So here we can increase it up to 15 but as you increase the value of current number of turns per unit length will decrease and the solenoid will no longer be tightly wound. So that's why we prefer to keep a tightly wound number of turns should be 1000 per meter to keep solenoid tightly wound. So in this situation uh, B remains constant inside and for this the magnetic field for this the magnetic field of 100 gauss the current required is 7.961 ampere. Ipo number here can be part of problem the marbury repeat penny park on a park on the neck a b hundred gauss in kutra. Ipo b a kutra in a say rob in a car thousand turns per meter under the defined matter. Maximum current on the 16 ampere medical claw up a solid on a pre design manner could sort of b is equal to mu naught in a land. N is equal constant value can be picture wrong. Apo n when the thousand turns per meter record on a car, I n are going to calculate but wrong. More or less eight ampere one. Sixteen ampere mudicha pola abina ka. Namma na seila na ka. N no I e inversely proportional. I e increase pona la n no koreyo. Apo n the combination la sariya avardan paakar the kaata. Idla poto eight amperes may be giving the right choice. Coil of radius R and N turns carrying a current I. The magnitude of magnetic field at a point on the axis at a distance x from the center is given by this expression mu naught I R square N by twice of X square plus R square to power 3 by 2. I hope you can recall the same expression I've already derived in basic theory videos also. Here in part A, it is asking us to show that this reduces to the familiar result for the field at the center of coil. Let's first solve this uh, part A, uh, where we can say at the center of coil, uh, we take x is equals to 0. This implies in this expression, we write dc is equals to mu naught ir square and divided by twice so if we take x to be equals to 0 this r to power 2 to power 3 by 2 is r cube where the result is coming out to be mu naught here r square also gets cancelled out this mu naught i by 2 r multiplied by n uh, which is the magnetic field due to a coil at its center so this is the wa uh, this is the way how we are proving that uh, this result is reducing to the magnetic induction at center of a coil of n turns and in part b if we analyze here uh, uh, it is saying consider two parallel coaxial circular coils of equal radius r and number of turns n carrying equal currents in the same direction. So we can draw the situation if there is one coil and at some distance uh, another coil is placed like this and uh, uh, they are of same radius r and r and they are also separated by a distance r. I hope you can analyze, I have not drawn the figure to scale. Uh, we are required to show that the field on the axis due to the two coils which are carrying current in same direction around the midpoint, midpoint which is at a distance r by 2 between the coils is uniform over a distance that is small compared to r. That means from center if at a distance y I consider a point P then the magnetic field at P will be independent of y if y is very less compared to R. I hope you can follow what is written over here. Uh, the magnetic field 
around the midpoint between the coils is uniform over a distance y that is small compared to r and is given by this expression approximately that we can analyze and it is also uh, analyzed over here and it is saying in this situation that uh, such an arrangement to produce a nearly uniform magnetic field over this small region it is known as Helmholtz coil that's a fact and uh, this is the definition of Helmholtz coil you need to keep in mind that such a setup is called Helmholtz coil which produces a uniform magnetic field near to the center of these two coils here let's first verify the situation if at point P we analyze due to coil 1 magnetic field is here uh, which is B1 due to coil 2 say it is B2 so that will be added up and here if we calculate <coughs> magnetic field at P uh, then it is given as BP is equals to B1 plus B2 and for B1 the distance from point uh, uh, P to the center of coil 1 is R by 2 plus Y and for the second one this distance is R by 2 minus Y. So let's use the same result which is mu naught I R square and divided by twice of here instead of X we take R by 2 plus Y for B1 this is R by 2 plus Y whole square plus R square to power 3 by 2 plus the second one is mu naught i r square and divided by twice of r by 2 minus y whole square because this distance is r by 2 minus y and this distance is r by 2 plus y plus r square to power 3 by 2 you need to be very careful because ye wala point yahan se r by 2 plus y duri pe hai aur yahan se ye r by 2 minus y distance pe hai so formula hum ye use karenge but jo distances lenge x x mein iske liye r by 2 plus y and for this we take r by 2 minus y and here y is very small so we can take uh, uh, the square of r common out or we can further analyze bp is equals to here mu naught i r square n by 2 uh, we can take common and inside we are having 1 by here if we square it you can see this gives you r square by 4 plus uh, y square plus r y plus r square to power 3 by 2 plus this 1 by uh, this is also r square by 4 plus y square minus r y plus r square to power 3 by 2 this is what we are getting and here uh, if we further analyze for bp here uh, y square can be neglected because y is very very less than r so in this situation this becomes uh, mu naught i r square n by 2 and I can also take r square common out so this comes out as r cube so here r cube will be taken out and inside see what we are getting this 1 upon this is 5 by 4 r square plus this r y so the remaining term here will be 5 by 4 plus y by r this is what I am having left over uh, with power 3 by 2 plus uh, 1 upon the same term I will be having but this 5 by 4 minus y by r to power 3 by 2 here if I further take the terms common out 5 by 4 also I can take out and here I can use binomial as 1 plus x to power n can be approximated as 1 plus nx if uh, x is very very less than 1 so here the final term I'll be having as bp is equals to here 5 by 4 also I can take common so this giving me mu naught i r square n divided by twice of uh, 5 by 4 to power 3 by 2 multiplied by r cube and this cube also I can cancel with r square 
and inside I'll be having a term uh, this is 1 plus 4y by 5 r to power minus 3 by 2 plus same term here I'm having 1 minus 4y by 5 r to power minus 3 by 2. If I rearrange the terms here you can see uh, this power I can take in if I take this power inside if I take this power inside then you can see this plus term and minus term will get cancelled out and on simplifying finally I am getting the result as uh, mu naught i n because r gets cancelled out divided by the term I am having left over is 1 r and the numerical terms we are having is uh, 5 by 4 to power 3 by 2. If you numerically solve this uh, relation then here you can see on numerically solving this relation uh, the final result you will be getting here is uh, 0 0.72 mu naught and i by r. Now, one circular coil lacks and lacks in the distance lab. Yellow magnetic field of interrelation the Magal Kutrake. Mudal condition in the Kakrana, X is equal to zero to Purga, in the Verdun Paklan. X is equal to zero for our family relation birthday, mu naught, NIB to NIB to R number. Upon Mudal expression in the Sayidanaka, general expression less center of the coil, X is equal to zero, Potaka, general expression on the day, Unibuch. Now, there are two coils, radius one, number of turns, one, current. These two coils are midpoint, R by 2. One element is Y. We will see the net result in magnetic field. In the superimposition, superposition principle. B is equal to B1 plus B2. We will calculate the value of the value mu naught n by r varthi in the coil ikki pere Helmholtz coil in the pere Ferromagnetic we consider its uh, uh, relative permeability to be unity of inner radius 25 cm and outer radius 26 cm around which 3500 tons of a wire are wound and it is saying if the current in the wire is 11 ampere, what is the magnetic field outside the toroid, inside the core of toroid and the empty speed surrounded by the toroid. So here one thing we know very well, uh, which we have studied uh, earlier also. If uh, we visualize the situation and this is the core of uh, toroid, which is also called as its store. And here if this is the toroid, which uh, we are... Uh, making by close packed winding of a wire on the store and a current I flows through it and we know inside the uh, core of the steroid the magnetic field exists and we know magnetic induction inside the core of a toroid is given as this we have analyzed by using uh, Ampere's law as well which is given as mu naught uh, n i where n are the number of turns per unit length uh, where we can write the value of n is equals to capital N by 2 pi r where capital N are the total turns where the value of total turns here are given as 3500 and a small r is the mean radius of toroid uh, which is if uh, the inner radius is r1 here and outer radius of toroid is r2 then the mean radius is given as uh, r1 plus r2 by 2 the radius of the axis of uh, the steroid which is written as Rm 
where mean radius is R1 plus R2 by 2. If we substitute the values of R1 and R2 as 25 and 26, this 25 plus 26 by 2, uh, which is 25.5 centimeter, or in SI unit, we take it 0.255 meter. Now here, if we substitute the values, the magnetic field inside uh, the core of toroid is mu naught number of turns are uh, n by 2 pi r m multiplied by i. So if we calculate the values, this mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to power minus 7 multiplied by number of turns are 3500 divided by 2 into 3.14 and mean radius is 0 0.255 multiplied by the current flowing here is 11 which is giving us a value on uh, numerically solving uh, uh, this uh, uh, data, we are getting 3.02 into 10 to power minus 2 Tesla. So this is the magnetic field inside and we already studied that for a closed packed solenoid in its surrounding everywhere the magnetic field is zero because magnetic lines will not be able to leak through the closed packed turns. So here if we talk about part A outside the toroid magnetic field is zero if we talk about its part b inside the core of toroid the magnetic field is 3.02 into 10 to power minus 2 tesla and part c again an empty surrounding space b is equals to zero these are the results so we are looking for this problem or toroid is the ground and the toroid like inner radius 25 centimeter outer radius 26 centimeter so, we have the average radius RM in the mean radius, the effective radius for the toroid. Apo, total number of turns 3500. Toroid is the circular arc, the 2 pi RM divide the number of turns per unit length. And the unit length is small length. Current 11 ampere substitute B in order value. 3.02 into 10 power minus 2 Tesla. In the core tightly held arc, the flux leakage Ampere in circular field. Apo, uniform and distribute the inside value, irukhe, outside value, illa, inner core value. That is the toroid and the effective radius the magnetic field. field parts one by one here in part a we are given that a magnetic field that varies in magnitude from point to point but has a constant direction from east to west is set up in a chamber so let's visualize the situation we are having a chamber in which a magnetic field is set up from east to west this is the direction in which a magnetic field vector b vector is set up and a charged particle enters the chamber and travels undeflected along a straight path with constant speed. What can you say about the initial velocity of particle? So uh, here we can write, we know that magnetic force on a charged particle is given as this magnetic force is given as q v cross b that's the lorentz force uh, component of magnetic field on a charged particle so numerically here we can say particle goes undeflected means the force should be zero then only particle will remain undeflected that means no force is acting on it because if particle is coming with some velocity in magnetic field at some angle force must act in a direction perpendicular to the field and particle due to the perpendicular force must deflect so here there is only one condition that if it is zero it goes undeflected and it goes undeflected or it is zero one v vector is parallel to b vector 
that means the particle is moving in the direction either of magnetic field or in the direction opposite to that of magnetic field so there are only two possibilities for the particle this or this in which we can say here theta will be 0 degree or 180 degree for which the cross product of velocity and magnetic field will be 0 so it is asking what can you say about the initial velocity of particle here we can see with this uh, analysis that initial velocity of particle is either along the direction of uh, magnetic field or opposite to the direction of magnetic field. There are only two possibilities in which we can say the particle goes undeflected. That's the result of this problem. Now, if we move ahead, if a magnetic field is there, and the magnetic field is there, that is a charged particle in dry undeflected upon the condition and not in the condition. ஒரு பார்ட்டிகல் உள்ள நுழைஞ்சாலே அது மேல ஒரு பி கியூ வி சைன் தீட்டால ஒரு ஃபோர்ஸ் இருக்கும் இப்ப வியும் வியும் என்ன டைரக்ஷன்ல இருக்கோ அதை பொறுத்துதான் ஃபீல் இருக்கும் வியும் வியும் சேம் டைரக்ஷன்ல இருந்ததுன்னா பார்ட்டிகல் மூவ் த வெலாசிட்டி அலாங் த மேக்னட்டிக் ஃபீல் ஆர் ஆன்டி பேரல் டு த மேக்னட்டிக் ஃபீல் தென் ஓன்லி த ஃபோர்ஸ் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ அப்போ இன்ஷியல் வெலாசிட்டி ஆஃப் த பார்ட்டிகல் Now the initial velocity of the particle is either along the direction of the magnetic field or opposite to the direction of the magnetic field. This is basic condition of the charge along the magnetic field direction work done is equal to zero. Now the force will act on the force. To the part B of this problem, here we can see in part b it is saying a charged particle enters an environment of a strong and non-uniform magnetic field which is varying from point to point both in magnitude and direction and comes out of it following a complicated trajectory it is asking would its final speed be equal uh, to the initial speed if it suffered no collision with the environment then here we can see directly as magnetic force on particle at any instant is given as here we know magnetic force is given by the expression q v cross b so here we can see fm vector is always perpendicular to velocity vector this implies magnetic force will never do any work on particle this implies its kinetic energy will remain constant and if kinetic energy will remain constant this implies its speed will also remain constant so the answer to this problem is yes initial speed of particle must be equal to the final speed because during the whole motion of particle its kinetic energy will remain constant because magnetic force is always perpendicular இப்போ அடுத்த கேள்வி என்னன்னாக்க மேக்னட்டிக் போர்ஸுக்கான ஃபார்முலா கியூ இன்டு வி கிராஸ் பி வின்றது அந்த பார்ட்டிகுடைய வெலாசிட்டி அதனுடைய டைரக்ஷன் ஒரு டைரக்ஷன்ல இருக்கு பின்றது மேக்னட்டிக் ஃபீல் அது ஒரு டைரக்ஷன்ல இருக்கு இது ரெண்டு நாள் அந்த சார்ஜ் பார்ட்டிகல்ல ஏற்படக்கூடிய மேக்னட்டிக் போர்ஸ் ஒரு டைரக்ஷன்ல இருக்கு ஒன்னு ஐ வெக்டரா இருக்கட்டும் ஒன்னு ஜே வெக்டரா இருக்கட்டும் ரிசல்டன்டான போர்ஸ் வந்து கே வெக்டரா இருக்கு அதனால 
when the force is always perpendicular to the velocity vector magnetic force will never do any work on the moving particle so the kinetic energy will be constant so v remains constant enna solla varonna ka or particle perpendicular field la nagarra po magnetic force adukku perpendicular a irukke kinetic energy maaradilla velocity constant a irukke adanal initial speed is equal to final speed nu solla the potential difference of 2000 volt enters a region with a uniform magnetic field of 0.15 tesla and we are required to determine the trajectory of electron in two cases if the field in first case is transverse to the initial velocity and in part b uh, when the field makes an angle 30 degree with the initial velocity so here in solution first we can see as the particle is accelerated with some potential difference the very first thing we are going to do is to calculate its speed we can say as a particle is accelerated here particle is electron accelerated at 2000 volt potential difference we use the gain in kinetic energy half mv square is equals to qv so here the speed of particle we are getting is equals to under root of uh, 2 qv by m if we calculate the numerical value this is under the root of 2 charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 multiplied by potential difference is 2000 volt divided by the mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 so numerically when you solve this gives you 2.7 into 10 to the power 7 meters per second this is the speed with which the particle is coming out after acceleration by potential difference of 2000 volt now we analyze the two cases case a is the one when uh, uh, electric uh, the magnetic field is transverse to the initial velocity so we can say when b vector is perpendicular to velocity vector then uh, we know the trajectory of particle is a circle that we have already discussed in detail in basic uh, videos of theory lectures so the re radius of circle can be directly given then the trajectory of particle is a circle of which a radius r is given by here uh, r can be calculated by equating mv square by r to the magnetic force qvb which gives us a value of radius as mv over qb so we substitute the numerical values over here uh, the mass of particle is given as uh, for electron it is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 speed we have calculated 2.7 into 10 to the power 7 divided by charge of electron as 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 multiplied by the magnetic field which is given to us as 0.15 tesla when you numerically solve it this gives you 10 to the power minus 3 meter or it is 1 mm there is a result of uh, the part a that particle will move in a circle of radius 1 mm if we continue over here with the part b where uh, we are given that the magnetic field makes an angle 30 degree with the initial velocity so we know when b vector makes an angle 30 degree with the velocity vector then uh, we already studied in theory video that uh, uh, if uh, there is some angle between magnetic field vector and velocity vector the path will be helical so we can say when b makes an angle 30 degree with v, v vector path of particle 
will be a helix. Uh, and here if we draw the figure, if this is the direction of magnetic field and if an electron is coming with the velocity v, then uh, we already discussed that at an angle theta, it's uh, along the field component is v cos theta with which the particle, the electron is moving forward. And the perpendicular velocity is v sin theta and this v sin theta will experience an outward force due to the negative charge and it follows a circular path which is pulled with the velocity v cos theta so in the circular path it is being pulled forward with the velocity v cos theta and the path will be the helix or it is helical path which it is going to trace and here in this situation for this helical path, if we talk about the radius of helix as Rh and its pitch as pH, uh, I prefer you should follow the theory video of understanding helical path where I have analyzed the pitch of helix and radius of helix which are given as here uh, a radius of uh, this uh, helix path is given as Rh which is uh, mv sin theta by qb so if we substitute the numerical values over here m would be the mass of electron 9.1 into 10 to power minus 31 speed uh, we already calculated it as 2.7 into 10 to power 7 and uh, sin 30 degree will be taken as 0 0.5 divided by qb which is 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 multiplied by 0.15. So if you numerically calculate this uh, uh, value on simplifying this gives you 0 0.5 into 10 to power minus 3 meter or which is 0 0.5 mm. So this one result as radius of helix and pitch of helix also we can calculate here pitch of helix is uh, the path covered by the particle along the axis during one revolution. This is given by the expression I have already derived as 2 pi mv cos theta by qb. So I am leaving it as an exercise for you to substitute the numerical values theta at 30 degree mv and qb and when you evaluate the value the final result you'll be getting is 5.44 mm that is another result of this problem ipo rendu condition solrom or electron vande 2000 volt nal accelerate aayi ulle varappo and the particle de velocity enna irukum or particle 2000 volt vande or charged particle 2000 volt potential difference put padrappo energy is EV. That is QV. In the QV, the particle is kinetic energy. That is the formula of half m square. m square QV relate to the velocity. Now, the particle perpendicular magnetic field, uniform perpendicular magnetic field. That is a circular orbit. And the circular orbit radius formula. MV by BQ. Calculate panna 1 millimeter radius. Apri illama the charged particle 30 degree angle over the nochkonga. Apo or particle beam by velocity 30 degree angle of deflection on the na or helical path. Var. And the helical path is rendered by the one RH in one PHs. RH on the radius of the helix. Adhikon the MV by BQ contributing la. That's a sign. Theta on add up and tap. For example, MB by BQ is 1 millimeter. Get theta is 30 degree. Sign 30 is multiply. 1 millimeter into sign 30 is 0.5 millimeter. This is the pitch you calculate. That's all about the things. Remaining problems are put in the exercise. This is close.